touchdown marker was and making sure they didn't get there. The busy night continues for Kamara. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Try to throw now, Winston. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Throwing again, Winston on second and 10. They'll get this out to Camara. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. They need a block in the back. Block in the back. Offense. Offense. A little costly there. You wipe out the first down, you also move further back. No doubt about it. So you went from moving the sticks to them staying in the same spot, except for that one guy carrying the yard marker. He moves back farther. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Jameis now on first down. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so... They need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. On second and goal, Winston. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Lutz good on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. First down, Mariota. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. He's got it. This is where you got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Looking to throw again on second down. Mariota, that's caught by Ware. And they're going to get this up to midfield. now from the 50 being chased out left that's caught inside the 20 touchdown Tampa Bay Mike Evans 50 yards and the Buccaneers have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth so a little bit of a letdown there defensively I mean look you're still two scores to the good CD but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped yeah, if you kept him at the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on him. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. From the six. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's already hit Pater twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. 127 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better really as the night's gone on. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. There. He'll get a couple up to the 44. The offense on third down tonight, they've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll keep it on the ground. Patrick, and he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Brandon, the defense just simply can't get off the field. 
field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Ready. Play action now, Winston. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On play action, Winston. And his throw is incomplete. The quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he's in line for a pick, but instead it's not harmlessly to the turf. On third down, Winston. Wide open receiver complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 32-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Kamara up the middle. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Winston. Looking for Thomas, he's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Three touchdown passes now in the ball game for Jameis Winston. And the Saints are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, Look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Alonso looked to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's Michael Thomas who ends it with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. From the 31, Mariota dumps it off to Fournette. Only able to gain a couple there, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. Yeah, come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mariota on third and two. 
And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. So here are the Saints to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Down to about the 32. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Call that a very strong gain of 24. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Saints are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Lux with the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Mariota. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is the analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Mariota. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and you know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. Throwing again on second down. Mariota. And that's going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. complete. 
Third and short yardage, Mariota. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Desperation time. Mariota on fourth down. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Paulson and Debo. And the Saints are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Ready. They begin on the ground with Kamara. No gain on the play there. Second down. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, there's three guys up front. The nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends. They're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Hey, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Winston keeps it himself. And he is going to have a Saints first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Good gain there on first down. That keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The 
they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Delay of game penalty. Ships him back five yards, makes it third and ten. Jameis to throw it. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for New Orleans, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll be back home next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, they'll fall to 1-2. and 